When the dust settles in North America, who will lead the way for the rest of the world in the cannabis industry? Let's look at the situation by population. North America is made up of 39 countries with just shy of 600 million persons. Of this, the U.S. makes up roughly half of the population, with Mexico next at 25%. While Canada was the first to legalize cannabis on a federal level, Canadian concerns are looking towards the U.S. and Mexico because Canada's own market is comparatively quite small. Three things make Mexico the obvious winner in the contest for domination in the cannabis industry. First is the natural advantage. A vast area of Mexico is perfectly suited to the cultivation of cannabis. Next comes the costs. Labor, land, water, energy, taxes, and transportation all cost less in Mexico. Everyone knows that a lot of companies in the U.S. exploit this, but a lot of Asian firms do as well. Last and most importantly, investment capital. Mexico is the world's largest exporter of beer and is awash in discretionary investment cash. Constellation Brands, the makers of Corona, dumped $4 billion U.S. into canopy growth for less than a 10% stake. And an Altria Philip Morris subsidiary was the first cannabis company to trade on the Mexican stock exchange, followed by the Canadian firm Primo Nutraceuticals. Cannabis will be a multi-billion, even trillion dollar industry in the very near future, and Mexico is poised to be its major player. This has been Teal Clausen for Market News First.